Welcome to Energy. I'm your host, Ty Joyce. Today we'll be exploring some of the great events O'Fallon will be offering this summer. We'll also check in with the Cultural Arts Manager to take a look at the newest artwork to grace the halls of the Renaud Spirit Center, and we'll also be talking about a few great programs being offered through the Parks and Recreation Department that will help you get fit and healthy. This and more coming up on Energy. First up on today's show is this month's featured employee, Bob Deerduff from the Landscape Division. Driving through O'Fallon, you may have noticed some areas that are a little more colorful with blooming flowers and bright green grass. This eye-catching scenery is the work of the city's Landscape Division, who is responsible for the year-round appearance of key properties within the city. Overseeing this division is this month's featured employee, Bob Deerduff, Landscape Manager. As the landscape manager for O'Fallon, um, I deal mainly with anything that has mulch on it, is a good way to explain. So if it has mulch, a mulch ring around a tree or mulch in a bed, uh, woody shrubs, mulch around flowers, those are the areas that my landscape division crew members focus on. We have all of the park properties that we detail as far as landscaping goes. We also have some high profile lawns that we take care of. City Hall, the Renaud Spirit Center, the Stadium Grounds, the Senior Center, and a few more obscure ones like the Veterans Memorial Walk, and even some off the beaten path places like the Trash Transfer Station, or a few small offices that are off our main campus areas. In addition to mowing our fine lawn areas, the Landscape Division is also responsible for mowing the right-of-way along certain thoroughfares throughout O'Fallon, and all the water and sewer structures. We also mow derelict properties. Taking care of the landscape in O'Fallon is a constant job, with weekly mowing, fertilizing, and taking care of weeds. But an even bigger job is manning the irrigation system. When I first arrived here, we had one irrigation system to take care of, and now we have 12. So even irrigation alone, just keeping it running properly and scheduled properly is enough work to keep one person busy all summer long. Another responsibility of the Landscape Division is overseeing a greenhouse. Through January through the month of late April, we produce about 19,000 flowers in the city's greenhouse. And then we move them out across O'Fallon all the way down to the clip site at Highway K and Highway DD along I-64. Um, north here in the north end of town at Civic Park and the stadium City Hall, so we go from all of the flowers being in one small area to spread citywide in just a few short weeks. The city's landscape division has also been recognized for their efforts through a national program. One other credential that the city of O'Fallon holds is its Tree City USA status, and that is brought about by uh, the National Arbor Day Foundation and in conjunction with the Missouri Department of Conservation to recognize a community for its effort it puts forth in fostering the urban forest. So all of the tree care that we do throughout O'Fallon, uh, we are recognized annually now for 11 years in a row for having a sound horticulture tree care program. Beautifying our city takes work, a lot of work, and it wouldn't happen without the generous help of volunteers. One of our biggest rush times of the year is in the spring when we plant flowers and spread mulch and we rely so much on volunteers and the volunteer services division with Kathy Halstead and Alexis Yeagers. They bring in hundreds of people to help us cover monumental tasks so that we can wrap everything up when Mother Nature says it's time. Included in Bob's responsibilities is overseeing the tree and bench program. The Landscape Division offers a commemorative tree and bench program where throughout the park system or municipal property, um, we will plant a tree or set a bench in recognition of something. 
It doesn't have to be a memorial, but a lot of them are. But it could be for the birth of a baby or a wedding or a golden anniversary. Those type of things are all celebrated throughout our park system. If you would like more information on the Landscape Division or the Commemorative Tree and Bench Program, visit o'fallon.mo.us slash parksandrec. Attention all parents, here's a great way to get your kids active with the Stay Fit Kids Program. Don't let your kids stay glued to the television and computer screen this summer. Sign them up for the Stay Fit Kids Program. This program is a great opportunity for them to get out of the house and burn some energy. Stay Fit Kids is designed for ages 3 to 12 and the program is all about getting kids active during the summer months when they don't have school. With this program there's four components. There's a fitness component, a good deeds component, outdoor fun, and nutrition. The components are a lot of fun for the kids and it's a good way to have something to motivate them uh, to stay active during the summer. Getting involved with the Stay Fit program is easy. Kids simply chart their progress and in return are rewarded for the completion of all four components. The Stay Fit Kids program, the dates for that are Memorial Day through Labor Day. So every two weeks you fill out the paperwork and you can turn it in at the Renaud Spirit Center or Alligators Creek Aquatic Center. And once your paperwork is completed, you can, uh, you're eligible for a day pass to either Alligators Creek or Renaud Spirit Center. This program is a great activity to get your kids active during the summer. We've been doing this program for probably about three years now, and I get a stack every, by the end of the summer, I have a stack about a foot high of just kids who are taking advantage of this program that we offer. New artists are coming to the O'Fallon Cultural Arts Gallery. Joining us now with all the details is Darren Granis, Cultural Arts Coordinator. We've got two artists coming up for this summer. They, uh, they're both teachers. Uh, one's a retired teacher. Uh, her name's Diane Papageorge. She's up first uh, for the month of June into the middle of July. And she does these great big, really gorgeous landscapes that are basically abstract. She uses a lot of uh, uh, acrylic, oil, and uh, mixed media for her work. She's been doing this for I want to say about 40 years now, so she's been around quite a while. And she's going to run until July 11th this year. And then July 25th, we've got another teacher. She works for Frances Howell. She's been 23 years in the district. Her name is Sherry Salant. And she does alcohol and ink prints and drawings on paper. And she's going to run from the uh, middle of July until uh, the end of August. And uh, this is going to be her first full showing. She's shown with us uh, for the past three years through the Oak Leaf Artist Guild, of which she's a member. The O'Fallon Cultural Arts Gallery is located in the Renaud Spirit Center at 2650 Triceport Circle. For more information, visit O'Fallon's website at o'fallon.mo.us. A great night of family fun is in the works with the Parks and Recreation Night at the Ballpark. Celebrate National Parks and Recreation Month at T.R. Hughes Ballpark as the River City Rascals take on the normal Corn Belters on Saturday, July 27th. The party begins at 5.05 with the first pitch at 6.05. The event is a great time for the whole family with plenty of games and face painting for the kids. There will also be a chance to help Lee take me out to the ball game during the seventh inning stretch and participate in the on-field games between innings. The ticket price is $10, which includes kids' activities, admission to the game, hot dog, chips, drink, and a free Renaud Spirit Center Day Pass. Admission is free for children two and under. To purchase your tickets, call Courtney Oakley at 636-240-2287, extension 242. So don't forget to get your ticket and celebrate National Parks and Recreation Month at T.R. Hughes Ballpark. Families enjoyed the great outdoors at Fort Zumal Park with the annual Family Fishing Day. Here's a look at that event. There are so many positives to getting out and going fishing. Fishing helps the environment and it's beneficial to one's health. But the biggest reason to fish is the thrill of the catch. <laughs> O'Fallon's Parks and Recreation Department gave an opportunity for families to enjoy the benefits of fishing on a gorgeous Sunday morning in Fort Zumal Park. There were games and activities for the kids, hosted by O'Fallon volunteers, and prizes were given out to many of the attendees. 
this event is really fun because it, it's all family oriented. So you see grandmas and grandpas bringing their grandchildren out to fish and it could be they just stepped at the store and bought a fishing pole for them to bring out and try out for the first time. So they're learning how to cast and you know how to put a worm on a hook and things like that and that's pretty cool to watch them and just the throw on their face that they're getting to do something that maybe they've never done before. The fish were biting and the kids were smiling. Families cast themselves off the couch and got in touch with nature. It truly was quality family time. Kids are so excited when they catch their first fish. It's just incredible. And it's fun to watch their eyes. A lot of them have never been fishing before. So to come out and to get all these free prizes and learn about the fish and actually catch a fish is like the coolest thing ever for these kids. This is like the most amazing experience. This is our first time fishing with the twins and uh, they're just having a ball. Every time they catch a fish, they're so excited. Oh, I got a big one too. Yeah. This is amazing just to watch how much fun they have. and, and Yeah, it is amazing. It is amazing, yeah. The joy that comes from them when they're fishing, it's just, uh, they're a lot of fun. Even with the side attractions, it was hard to get the budding Bass Masters away from the water as these new experts kept showing off their skills to their parents and grandparents. When I caught a fish, uh, I started to pull it up very fast and very fast, and, and I get to say, yes. I think it's nice that City of Fallon is doing this for family. I mean, it's good to for families to enjoy the out, outdoors for a while. You know, we, we spend a lot of time inside, and this is once in a while we can do this together as a family. Our family is into things like this, and so we very much appreciate it. It means an awful lot to uh, all of us, and even my daughter, my, our other daughter, the kids are aware that we're out here doing this, and this will be conversation, the topic of conversation for, uh, for a while. This next event is a great way to be creative. Take to the water and challenge your competitive side. Fun times are ahead at Alligators Creek Aquatic Center at the 5th Annual Shipwreck Pirates Day. Patrons will be treated to a treasure trove of fun and games throughout the day, highlighted by the cardboard boat races. Participants have to make a boat out of cardboard and duct tape only, um, and then they bring their boats to Alligators Creek and they'll race them. We have three awards. We have the Titanic Award, which is the boat that sinks the fastest, the best decorated. Um, that's basically the crowd votes on the boat they think is the best decorated. And then we have the fastest boat, which is the one that is the fastest to get across the pool. We've, in the past, we've had up to 16 boats compete. Um, it gets bigger and bigger, bigger and bigger every year. Um, we have a lot of people that just come and watch the boat races, um, so it's, it's fun for both the participants and the crowd. The cardboard boat races will take place at Alligators Creek on July 20th from 4 to 6 p.m. The cost for the boat races are $10 for residents and $12 for non-residents, and that's for one boat and two participants in each boat. You can register um, at the Renaud Spirit Center in Alligators Creek online, or you can uh, call 636-474-2732. Another great event is taking place this summer in O'Fallon's Fort Zumwalt Park. Back by popular demand is the Food Truck Frenzy, an event that is sure to tempt any palate with a wide variety of tasty cuisines ranging from Greek, Italian, and Mexican dishes. While you eat, your family can enjoy the sounds of cover band sunset amusement. Admission and parking are free, so bring your appetite and a blanket or lawn chair to beautiful Fort Zumalt Park. For more information, visit O'Fallon's website at www.ofallon.mo.us. There's plenty of fun things happening in O'Fallon. Here's a look at what's coming up. The season is right to see a movie in the park. Enjoy the experience of an old-fashioned drive-in movie theater on the grounds of the Renat Spirit Center. Bring a blanket or lawn chair and your family too, and enjoy the comedy of Nut Job. Concessions will be available for purchase. Free activities to keep kids entertained will begin at 8 p.m., and the show begins at dusk around 9 p.m. Admission is free, but a ticket is required, so register today either online or by calling 
636-474-2732. Don't miss out on all the fun at O'Fallon Jammin'. Gather your family, friends, and neighbors and head out to Civic Park for a night of entertainment featuring Groove Thing. The concert takes place on Tuesday, July 15th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Admission and parking are free and concessions will also be available. For all the details, visit ofallon.mo.us slash jammin. Brush up on your driving skills with the AARP Driver Safety Program. Improve your driving, update your knowledge of the rules of the road, and learn how to drive more safely and even reduce your traffic violations. The next class will take place on Wednesday, July 23rd from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the Renaud Spirit Center. Cost is $15 for AARP members and $20 for non-members, which is due the day of the class. For more information, give the Renaud Spirit Center a call at 636-474-2732. Learn more about your ancestry with the Beginning Genealogy Workshop presented by the Daughters of the American Revolution, Caroline Close Stewart Chapter. This workshop will teach you how to use charts, census records, and the internet to research your ancestral story. This is a free service for anyone interested and will take place at the Renaud Spirit Center on Saturday, July 26th from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. For more information, visit the Renaud Spirit Center website. That's all for today's show. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Energy.